Let the celebrations begin. So here we are with uh, Stephen Jones. First of all, he's a former player, a former high-performance bowling coach of Rajasthan Royals, and now his own endeavour, Pace Lab, is doing wonders for Indian cricket and roping in top talents where their main aim is to enhance a fast bowler's career and their trajectory through biomechanics and other scientific programs. So Stefan, first of all, thank you very much for talking with One India, Michael. Pleasure. So how has been, you've been a professional cricketer, you have yeah. worked in IPL in various schools yeah. as well, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, yeah. How did the Pace Lab concept start in yeah. your mind? Okay, so when I, I played, so I played for 20 years professionally and I was also a professional rugby player. So um, I was very much grown up with uh, high performance, physical training, strength and conditioning, power work. But for me, there was a sort of something missing in that we weren't testing it. You need to, to plan the direction of travel. You need to know where you're currently at. So I test everything and technology in the world now is incredible. So we need to know where the current bowler is, is sat, where they are physically, technically, tactically, psychologically. Then from there, then I can tailor an individual program for the fast bowler based on their needs. Every bowler has a different style. There's no point copying a certain bowler. No, they have an individual style. And then the key is to make sure that the technique and the strength and conditioning is right for that individual bowler. And that's what Pace Lab does differently to everyone else. So we have seen already Indian Pace, so Ishan yeah. Sharma is working here in Bangalore. And I'm sure that you have multiple projects yeah. around India, yeah. all over the world as well. So how, what have the ecosystem of bowling in India you have seen, especially for Pace yeah. Bowling? Because we have seen that we have some top quality pacers, if just with Bumra, yeah. Muhammad Shami. Yeah. But we have also a lot, a lot of talented pacers mm. who have kind of faded away. Yeah. So what is the reason, yeah. do you think, behind that and how you are okay. aiming to have a change in that? So for me, I, I would, I, I'll say it straight away now, I would love to be in charge of a fast bowler development program in India because that's what I can do. I can develop fast bowlers. You know, the, the IPL and the top level, they're, they're already good. You know, the next level down, and I know Troy Cooley and the NCA does some great job, and I'm, you know, here to help. So the problem in India, as people, the work ethic is, is exemplary. It's, it's an example to everyone in the world, the work ethic. But with that becomes uh, the mindset that the more you do, the harder you work, the better you get. And unfortunately, that might be okay for batting, but for bowling, it doesn't work like that. So bowling for two hours a day is not healthy. So, but it has to be smart with what we're trying to achieve. So I think there's a mixture in India, as everywhere in the world, where some bowlers are over bowled, while others are under bowled. We spend too long in the gym and not actually bowling. So fast bowling is about intensity. Nothing we can do in the gym will match the intensity in bowling. So it's my big thing is planning, is periodization. So so much talent, but but Indian bowlers it can't be about the volume of bowlers. You know there will be always be a talented bowler coming. Umrah Malik, Kuldeep Sen, Navdeep Saini. You know these guys are coming through, but the key is developing them. The key is nurturing through, giving them the right information so they can achieve the potential that they clearly have. There is always room for improvement, oh, as you definitely. have rightly said. But one, one more thing that we have seen, we saw that Ishan Sharma is doing yeah. various drills, curated, yeah. personalized. Yeah. What, did, what, what, is the, what was the main, you know, program of his training, if yeah. you can elaborate? So, I, I've, I've helped uh, Ishan on and off uh, since he was playing test cricket, actually. I think about seven or eight years, but on and off, because I then go to the Royals and he, so it's difficult yes. then to... But so Ishant is clearly a legend. He's only two bowlers, seamers in India. We've got over 100 tests, Kabil Dev and Ishant. So there's nothing I can teach him bowling. He knows what a good delivery is. What I can do is look at his technique, make sure we can sort of fine, t fine tune his sequencing, his timing. As you get older, timing is different because we get older, it's a bit, you know, the body's a bit broken. So. The key for him is maintaining his freshness, his sharpness. He looks lean, he looks really fighting fit, and he's a knee-dominant bowler. 
So it's important that we maintain strength. If Ishan loses strength, he loses pace. So this last year at IPL, he bowled 145. And that's, a, that's good pace for someone his age and someone his workloads. So it's about managing workload, managing intensity and making, he's, making sure he's fresh enough to bowl. Ultimately, that's his skill. He's a bowler. I've seen that you're working with a lot of next-gen bowlers, youngsters yeah. as well. What is, the, what is the main thing that you think a general Indian pace bowler who is aspiring to be a pace bowler will have to work on from early ages? What are the main so, things that they have to focus on? So that, that's, that's a great question. For me, okay, um, because of the physical education programs in India, a lot of the bowlers haven't got physical literacy, uh, athletic development. So you have a foundation of movement. You need to be able to move. There's no point me coaching a bowler to sort of back foot contact four times their body weight on front foot contact eight to nine if they can't stand on one leg. You know, their knee valgus, their knee collapses. And that's built. If, if in these big centers we are doing sort of the general prep work with 20-year-old athletes, it's too late. That needs to be in school. And then from there, we give athletic development. So speed wins. So my tip to all bowlers, they need to sprint more. They need to throw more medicine balls. They need to jump more and they need to bowl weighted balls. This the gym stuff is supplementary. And then from there, you need to learn the craft, the game awareness, when to bowl slower balls. Not enough bowlers, just Big Brom and Malinga can bowl Yorkers, they can. But why are we struggling for, to find bowlers who can bowl Yorkers? So our training has to be more relevant. You worked for, with Rajasthan Royals in the IPL as a high performance bowling coach, if, yep. I'm, if I'm right. Yep. And how was the experience? How has the IPL oh, experience been for you? Incredible. I, I loved that. Uh, it, the timing of it was great for me. You know, uh, ultimately, the Rajasthan Royals, through Rahul Dravid, took a gamble because I wasn't in cricket. I was a director of sport at a private school. But they saw something to me and I was employed as a bowling coach in 2019. Loved it. But unfortunately, because of my role as director of sport, I couldn't commit fully. But the last two years, I've been in the IPL. I prepped them to the tournament, spent two or three weeks in the tournament, making sure they're ready to go. Then I go home. It is, I love that role. You know, I love developing them, looking after them year round. Great setup. And for me, with Rahul Dravid there now, it's, it's only with one Rahul way up. With Rahul Dravid coming back to Rajasthan Royals again, yeah. is there another I don't chance know. we are going to see you again in the IPL 2025? The, not 2025, but moving forward, they sure. have my number. Thank you very much, Stefan, for Pleasure. your interview. Really hoping that you can make a dynamic change in Indian pace bowling. And yeah. thank you for I'm your trying. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure. <laughs> The Chennai Silks are the celebrations begin.